Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Tuesday. I hope you are having a great Tuesday. Here is your news report, stimulus check update, and stimulus package update for Tuesday, February the 9th. I have a lot of news to share with you today. I will be discussing the status of the $2,000 stimulus checks, as well as the latest SSI and SSDI news. Lawmakers plan to pass the third round of stimulus checks no later than March 14th. Democrats also plan to increase the weekly federal unemployment benefits. But before this video starts, I'm giving away another $50 Amazon gift card. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment below. So House Democrats are plowing forward with another stimulus package. It's really great. Democratic lawmakers are trying to keep the existing income limits for the third stimulus check, while also narrowing eligibility for higher income Americans. Democrats are planning to pass legislation that would allow Americans earning $75,000 a year or less to receive the fully promised $1,400 stimulus payment, despite a push by the Republicans and some moderate Democrats to lower the income threshold. However, the stimulus checks would phase out faster than the second and first round of stimulus checks. It would cut off at individuals who earn more than $100,000 a year and couples earning more than $200,000 a year. Now, the Democratic Party can't afford to lose the support of even a single Senate Democrat. This is because they need all 50 members to pass the measure through a procedural tool known as budget reconciliation. The Senate passed a budget resolution that will pave the way for President Biden's American Rescue Plan. As promised, the Senate held an open, bipartisan, and vigorous amendment process. Several bipartisan amendments passed with overwhelming majorities and were added to the resolution. The fact that the debate went all night and only concluded at around 5.30 in the morning is a testament to the vigor of the amendment process, which, again, I know, was bipartisan, the First Amendment, in fact, a very important one, by the senator from Arizona, Ms. Cinema, and the senator from Mississippi, Mr. Wicker, helped our restaurant industry, and it was bipartisan. Now, our Senate committees have instructions to begin crafting legislation to rescue our country from COVID-19, to speed vaccination distribution, provide a lifeline to small businesses, help schools reopen safely, save the jobs of teachers, firefighters, and other public employees, and support every American who is struggling to put food on the table and keep a roof over their heads. Is to phase out checks for individuals making more than $50,000 a year. Uh, you called that proposal unbelievable and said, quote, in other words, working class people who got checks from Trump would not get them from Biden. Brilliant. Obviously, you're being sarcastic there. Uh, it's clear you don't support it. You heard Janet Yellen earlier in the show. She said, obviously, she thinks that somebody who makes $60,000 a year uh, should be getting these relief checks, but she wasn't willing to commit to $75,000. Uh, where do you think the cutoff should be? Well, I think what we have done in the past and what we have promised the American people, we've said two things uh, in the last month. We said we're going to get you $2,000, that's $600 plus $1,400. And what we're going to do is say that everybody, a single person, individual, 75000 or lower, and a couple of $150,000 or lower will be eligible for that full $2,000, 600 plus 1400 Now, when people said we don't want rich people to get uh, that benefit, I understand that. I agree. And what we need to do is have a strong cliff so it doesn't kind of spill over to people making $300,000. And that's what I support, and that's what I think most people understand. But to say to a worker in Vermont or California or any place else that if you're making you know, $52,000 a year, you are too rich to uh, get this help, the full benefit, I think that that's absurd. And it's also, from a political point of view, a little bit absurd that you would have under Trump these folks getting the benefit but under Biden, who is fighting hard for the working class of this country, they would not get that full benefit. So I think from a policy point of view, we've got to do the right thing on that 75000 and 150000 for a couple. Senator Joe Manchin has repeatedly argued stimulus checks need to be better targeted and reportedly called for the checks to begin phasing out for individuals earning more than $50,000 a year. Last week, Senator Manchin said on the Senate floor, I don't think a single person on this floor would disagree to target the relief to our neighbors who are struggling.
There are families who have not missed a single paycheck as a result of this pandemic. It does not make any sense to send a check to those individuals. However, Manchin still indicated on Monday that he was open to House Democrats' plan, saying that he and other centrists are trying to ensure the payments to go to those truly in need. So if they can show that people who earn $75,000 a year and couples who earn $150,000 a year are truly in need, Manchin said, President Biden suggested last week that he was willing to limit which Americans received the third stimulus check in hopes of securing bipartisan support for the measure. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki told reporters, further targeting means not the size of the check. It means the income level of people who receive the check. That's something that is under discussion. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen also stated on Sunday that Americans earning $60,000 per year should receive the full promised benefit. During an interview on State of the Union, Yellen stated, the exact details of how it should be targeted are to be determined, but the struggling middle-class families need help. The House Ways and Means Committee is set to debate its part of the massive reconciliation bill on Wednesday and go through Friday. Lawmakers have stated that they want to pass the stimulus checks no later than March 14th, which is when supplemental unemployment are scheduled to run out for millions of Americans. Representative Richard Neal, chair of the Ways and Means Committee, recently stated, While it is our hope that Republicans will join us in doing the right by the American people, the urgency of the moment demands that we act without further delay. The legislation also includes changes to the tax code and an increase in an extension of weekly federal unemployment benefits. It would raise the $300 a week payment to $400 a week and continue the program, currently slated to be begin lapsing in March through the end of August. The $1.9 trillion relief plan would also provide for billions of dollars for schools and colleges, small businesses, and a provision that would increase the federal minimum wage to $15 an hour by 2025. This is really awesome news. While the details are still being finalized, it seems like people who will receive the SSI and SSDI will once again automatically qualify to receive a third stimulus check for $1,400, as they did for the first and second round payments. For the first two rounds, those individuals were eligible so as long as they had social security number and weren't claimed as a dependent on someone else's tax return, and so long as their household income did not exceed the threshold set. If you received SSI or SSDI but still haven't gotten a stimulus check either round, the IRS may still need more information about your eligibility. To receive your money now, you'll need to claim the additional amount when you file your taxes using the recovery rebate credit. This is the end of the video, everyone. I really hope you found this video helpful. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment below for more daily stimulus check updates. And don't forget to enter the $50 Amazon gift card giveaway, which is scheduled this Friday. Hello everyone, I hope you are having a nice Monday. Here is your stimulus check update, stimulus package update, and use report for Monday, February the 8th. In this video, I will be going over the status of the $2,000 stimulus checks. Adult dependents are now eligible for a third of the stimulus check, and lawmakers will now be lowering the income eligibility thresholds. But before this video starts, I am giving away another $50 Amazon gift card this Friday. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment below. Okay, earlier today, House Democrats released more details about their stimulus relief bill, which includes $1,400 stimulus checks for all eligible Americans. For the past couple of days, Democratic lawmakers were reportedly considering lowering the income eligibility thresholds for the next round of stimulus checks. However, the text of the new relief bill shows that the income eligibility thresholds for the next stimulus package will remain the same. The new bill includes $1,400 for individuals earning up to $75,000 per year and $2,800 for married couples earning up to $150,000 per year. So a family of four would receive $5,600. This is awesome news. Now more Americans will be receiving a third stimulus check. I would love to hear your thoughts. Please leave your comments below. The stimulus payment phases out between $75,000 and $100,000 in adjusted gross income for individuals and between $150,000 and $200,000 for couples filing jointly. Head of households will get the full amount if they earned up to $112,500 and it will phase out completely at $150,000. Now with the last round of stimulus checks, adult dependents were excluded from receiving a stimulus payment. However, under the House of Representatives new relief plan, adult dependents are now eligible for the third round. 
This includes college students, disabled students, and elderly Americans who are, who are claimed on someone else's tax returns. I am really happy to hear adult dependents will be eligible for a third round of stimulus checks. I know many Americans were upset when they found out that they were not eligible for the second stimulus check. Many households will get more money under this framework than they did in the first two rounds. For example, a two-parent household with an 18-year-old dependent that met the income eligibility requirements would have received $2,400 in the first round. Now they could get now they could get $4,200. According to multiple news resources, the House of Representatives is still working on other parts of the relief package which is expected to closely mirror the $1.9 trillion relief plan President Joe Biden released in January. The House Ways and Means Committee will be voting on this version of the bill. Economist Michael Stepner told CBS News, If we are going to send money to people, we want it to stimulate the economy. Targeting the payments to lower income households gives you a much higher bang for the buck. So this week, House Democrats will move ahead with an economic relief package that would keep the existing income limits for Americans who will receive the stimulus checks. When asked about the plan, Democratic Senator Joe Manchin did not immediately dismiss it. Senator Manchin told reporters that he and other moderates are just trying to ensure Democrats target the payments to those who truly need it. House Democrats are speeding toward the passage of their own version of Biden's $1.9 trillion bill by the end of February though key components of that bill could change when it reaches the Senate. The House Ways and Means Committee will begin considering its part of the massive reconciliation bill on Wednesday and go through Friday. While it's still our hope that Republicans will join us in doing right by the American people, the urgency of the moment demands that we actually act without fur further delay, Neil said in a statement on Monday. While it is still our hope that the Republicans will join us in doing right by the American people, the urgency of the moment demands that we act without further delay, Neil said in a statement Monday. Senate Finance Committee Chair Ron Wyden said in an interview on Monday, the people who got the first two checks are going to expect a third check. If you look at the promises that were made, including on the campaign trail in Georgia, I think it supports my position. Senate Budget Committee Chair Bernie Sanders has also disagreed with Senator Joe Manchin's plan to slash the income eligibility limits. On Sunday, Senator Sanders told CNN to say to a worker in Vermont or California or any place that if you're making $52,000 a year, you are too rich to get this whole help, the full benefit. I think that's absurd. Representative Pramila Jayapal says she is in a nonstop conversation with the White House officials trying to prevent stimulus check thresholds from being lowered to $50,000. She stated, the idea we have to cave into one Democrat in the Senate does not make any sense to me. Andrew Yang also shared his thoughts on current stimulus negotiations. Yang wrote in a Twitter post, I don't think we should be means testing stimulus checks. People are hurting and circumstances can change quickly. Better to cover as many as possible. That is the end of the video everyone. I truly hope you found this video helpful tonight. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video and comment below for more daily stimulus check updates. To enter the $50 Amazon gift card giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment below. Thank you everyone and have a good night. Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. Here is your news report, stimulus check update, and stimulus package update from Monday, February the 8th. I have a lot of stimulus news to share with you today. I will be discussing the status of the $2,000 stimulus checks. Democrats have just rolled out a plan that will provide up to $300 monthly checks to parents. Republican Senator Pat Toomey says another round of stimulus checks would be inappropriate. But before this video starts, I am giving away another $50 Amazon gift card this Friday. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment below. Alrighty everyone, so on Sunday, Senator Pat Toomey, a Republican from Pennsylvania, told CNN's Jake Tapper that a new stimulus package would be inappropriate given that Congress passed a bipartisan stimulus package back in December. During his interview on the State of the Union, Senator Toomey explained that he believed even the $600 billion counterproposal presented by Republicans to the White House was too expensive. Senator Toomey stated, the economy has come roaring back. Disposable income is at record high levels. It's not an economy in a collapse like it was back in March. I myself definitely disagree with Senator Pat Toomey. Do any of you disagree with Pat Toomey? Leave your comments below. 
I don't support that. I think it's completely inappropriate, Toomey said of the $600 billion relief proposal. Toomey was later asked about the 10 Senate Republicans who met with President Joe Biden at the White House to discuss their own plan to pass more stimulus relief. Toomey stated he disagrees with them over whether Congress should act to pass more funding. President Biden reportedly told Republican senators following their meeting last week that their framework for a relief bill was too small and that Democrats have indicated that they plan to move forward and pass Biden's $1.9 trillion relief package without Republican votes through the budget reconciliation process. Last month, Senator Pat Toomey claimed that Joe Biden's stimulus plan would likely so d- slow down a recovery in unemployment. Last month, Senator Pat Toomey claimed that Joe Biden's stimulus plan would likely so da- slow down a recovery in employment. However, that warning was rejected on Sunday by Janet Yellen, President Joe Biden's Treasury Secretary. Janet Yellen stated on CNN, we need a big package and we need to get this done quickly. I would expect if this package is passed that we would get back to full employment next year. Kevin O'Leary, Shark Tank investor, told Yahoo Finance Live, that's not the best way to use taxpayer money. We're just sending everybody free money from a helicopter, he said. That's not a great idea. Instead, Kevin O'Leary said the U.S. government should only send checks to unemployed and pour money into ramping up vaccine distribution. I don't know why we're sending checks to people that are already employed, said O'Leary. That makes no sense to me. The deal should be this. If you are displaced by the pandemic, we will send you a check because you're unemployed. Kevin O'Leary warned the U.S. is in danger of putting too much stimulus into the economy and risking horrific, horrific inflation. We have too many airlines in terms of capacity because business spending will be down somewhere between 20 and 25 percent for years to come. Just give unemployment checks to the employees. They're highly trained. They'll find new jobs in the digital economy. And airlines are very good at going bankrupt. They do it every 10 years. So it's just fine. Stop spending money there. Kevin O'Leary recommends a similar approach for the struggling restaurant industry, where 4 million jobs have been lost during the pandemic. I'd like to take care of everybody that works in a restaurant that's unemployed. I do not want to bail out every restaurant owner. I'm sorry, he said. A better way to spend on restaurants would be to spend more money on the logistics of getting the vaccine out. Because I can guarantee you, when people feel safe again, they will go out to restaurants. It's an industry that bounces back very quickly. Now, House Democrats are set to introduce legislation today to increase the child tax credit to at least $3,000 per child in the form of monthly direct payments, according to multiple reports. President Joe Biden's relief also aimed at helping tackle child poverty. The payments would be $3,600 per year for children under the age of six, or $300 per month. For children ages six to 17, the amount would be reduced to $3,000 per year, or $250 per month. The amount would be reduced for individual parents making more than $75,000 per year, or couples earning more than $150,000 per year. The monthly payment is seen as a way for parents to meet bills they are facing at the moment rather than getting one lump sum. The current standard child tax credit of $2,000 per child comes after parents file their tax returns in April. The amount phases out for single parents making more than $200,000 a year and couples earning more than $400,000 a year. Now, President Joe Biden is still open to changing eligibility requirements for next stimulus package. We need to target the money so folks making $300,000 a year don't get any windfall, Biden said. The first two sets of the stimulus checks have had the same income thresholds in order to qualify. Individuals who earn up to $75,000 per year and married couples with incomes of up to $150,000 per year will receive full payments. Individuals who earned up to $75,000 per year and married couples with incomes of up to $150,000 per year received full payments. The checks are then gradually phased out for those above those levels. Alrighty everyone, that is the end of the video for now. I hope you found this video helpful. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment below for the more stimulus check updates. And don't forget to enter the $50 Amazon gift card giveaway, which is scheduled for this Friday. And all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment below. Thank you and have a great day. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday. Here is your stimulus check update, stimulus package update, and news report for Sunday, February the 7th. In this video, I will be sharing the latest stimulus news, including the status of the $2,000 stimulus checks. 
I also want to go over how Democrats are planning to pass a $3,600 child tax credit as part of the new stimulus relief bill. But before this video starts, I am giving away another $50 Amazon gift card. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leaving a comment below. Alrighty everyone, so Democrats in the House of Representatives are planning to unveil legislation that will provide $3,600 per child to millions of Americans. Lawmakers are aiming to change a tax code to help decrease child poverty. So this proposal would expand the child tax credit to provide $3,600 per child younger than 6 years old. It would also expand to $3,000 per child up to 17 years old over the co course of a year. This means phasing out the payments for Americans who make more than $75,000 and couples who earn more than $150,000 per year. According to the Washington Post, the draft 22-page provision is expected to be introduced on Monday as lawmakers race to fill out the contours of President Joe Biden's stimulus relief plan. Representative Richard Neal of Massachusetts, the chairman of the Ways and Means Committee said, the pandemic is driving families deeper and deeper into poverty and it's devastating. This money is going to be the difference in a roof over someone's head or food on their th table. This is how the tax code is supposed to work for those who need it the most. So the tax credits would be split into monthly payments from the Internal Revenue Service beginning this July, based on a person's or family's income in 2020. Although the proposed tax credit is only for a year, Democrats said they would fight to make it permanent. So what are your thoughts on the Democrats expanding the child tax credit for everyone? Leave your comments and thoughts below. I honestly think it's great. The one-year tax credit will likely garner enough support to be included in the stimulus package, but will have to clear a series of tough parliamentary hurdles. But House Democrats have been working hard to pass President Joe Biden's stimulus relief package by the end of the month. Congress moved last week to fast-track Biden's economic relief plan, even as details of the legislation are still being worked out. President Joe Biden has informed lawmakers that he plans to move ahead with his plan whether or not Republicans support it. Republican lawmakers are continuing to accuse Biden of abandoning promises of bipartisanship and raise concerns about the nation's debt. They have balked at his plan because of its large price tag and scope after Congress approved trillions of dollars in economic relief in 2020. However, the child tax credit could provide an opportunity for some bipartisan support. Since Senator Mitt Romney introduced a similar measure that would send payments of up to $1,250 per month to families with children. Romney's proposal would distribute payments through the Social Security Administration and offset costs by eliminating other government safety net spending. And during an interview on CNN State of the Union, Senator Patrick Toomey of Pennsylvania said, If you're President Biden and you're serious about having a bipartisan, working together with people on the other side, bringing people together in unity, he has the opportunity to do it. So Janet Yellen, the Treasury Secretary, stated on Sunday that the United States labor market was stalling and an in-deep hole that could take years to emerge from it if lawmakers do not quickly pass the economic relief package. Yellen also stated that there is no need to be concerned that big spending would lead to inflation. Then on CNN, Yellen said, the most important risk is that we leave workers and communities scarred by the pandemic and the economic toll that it's taken. We have to make sure that this doesn't take a permanent toll on their lives. Janet Yellen stated that passing the stimulus package could allow the economy to reach full employment by next year. She also added that failing to do so could leave the jobless rate elevated for many years to come. On Sunday, Representative Rosa DeLauro said, the moment is here to make dramatic cuts in child poverty that could improve the lives and future of millions of children. She said she would push to make that credit permanent. Alrighty everyone, that is the end of the video. I hope that you found this video helpful. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment below for more daily st stimulus check updates. And don't forget to enter the $50 Amazon gift card giveaway which is scheduled for this Friday. All you have to do to enter is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and commenting below. Thank you and have a great night. Good day everyone. How are you all doing today? Here's your news report, stimulus check update, and stimulus package update for Sunday, February the 7th. In today's video, I will bring you up to date on the latest stimulus news, including the status of the $2,000 stimulus checks and why Senator Bernie Sanders does not want to narrow income eligibility for stimulus checks. Many progressives are pushing for Americans to receive $2,000 stimulus checks. But before this video starts, 
I am giving away another $50 Amazon gift card next Friday. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment below. There are several progressives that are now calling for larger stimulus checks for the American people. Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is one of the progressives that wants Americans to receive a full $2,000 stimulus check instead of the $1,400 stimulus check. Ocasio-Cortez has already criticized her lawmakers who are referring to the $2,000 stimulus checks by adding together the $600 per person sent out under former President Donald Trump. Representative Ocasio-Cortez wrote in a Twitter post, Just help people. Some of the same folks who said defunding huge PD budgets and shifting money to schools is too hard to explain are, are now saying, well, $1,400 is actually $2,000 if you recall the $600 from a different president. Carry the one yes, I know ads show $2,000 stimulus checks, but thresholds. I would love to hear your thoughts. Please leave your comment below. Thank you. The new chairman of the Senate Budget Committee is Senator Bernie Sanders. He has not pushed back under President Joe Biden's $1,400 stimulus check proposal, but did insist that individuals making $75,000 and under remain eligible for the assistance. On Sunday, Bernie Sanders made an appearance on the State of the Union. We said we're going to get you $2,000, which is $600 plus $1,400. And what we're going to do is say that everybody, a single person, individual, $75,000 or lower, and a couple of $150,000 or lower will be eligible for that $2,000. That is $600 plus $1,400. Unbelievable. There are some Democrats who want to lower the income eligibility for direct payments from $75,000 to $50,000 for individuals and $150,000 to $100,000 for couples. In other words, working class people who got checks from Trump would not get them from Biden. That's brilliant. To say to a worker in Vermont or California or any place else that if you're making $52,000 a year, you are too rich to get this help, the full benefit. I think that's absurd. And it's also from a political point of view, a little absurd that you would have under Trump, these folks getting the benefit, but under Biden, who is fighting hard for the working class of this country, they would not get that full benefit, Sanders added. Joe Biden has stated that he is open to compromising on the structure of the stimulus checks and his proposal for the $1.9 trillion relief package. On Wednesday, he told Democrats he is open to modifying the adjusted gross income thresholds for an additional round of direct payments, but he's holding steadfast to the $1,400 stimulus check amounts. In my opinion, Americans should be receiving a full $2,000 stimulus check instead of a $1,400 stimulus check. But in a $600 billion counterproposal, GOP lawmakers offered a $1,000 stimulus check targeted to low-income households. Representative Ryan wrote on Twitter, I think the check should be $2,000, and they should be monthly. His post nearly received 30,000 retweets. On February 2nd, the Washington Post released a report that many Democrats Discuss the idea of initiating a phase out for checks. On February 2nd, the Washington Post released a report that many Democrats discussed the idea of initiating a phase out for checks for individuals who earned above $50,000, $70,000 for taxpayers who are head of households, and $100,000 for married couples. Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia has made it clear that he does not believe higher income families need stimulus payments and that he feels that those mostly affected by the economic failout of the pandemic should be targeted. I don't think a single person on this floor would disagree to target the relief to our neighbors who are struggling to pay rent and put food on the table, Manchin said last week. Democratic Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez retweeted a message from Senator Sanders and added her own words of support. It would be outrageous if we ran on giving more relief and ended up doing the opposite. It's sad that this is even an argument in the Democratic Party. COVID relief is a disaster relief and it's urgent. Our first act out of the gate should be big, bold, and strong, not weaker and smaller. Republicans feigning to care about helping low and middle income families by making the tax code more progressive is disingenuous to say the least. It was deliberate hit job on middle class taxpayers in New Jersey and other blue states that are already disproportionately sent out more to federal treasury than they get back. Last week, a proposal was released by Senator Mitt Romney. He proposed a new cash benefit of $350 a month for young children and $250 a month for those in school. The benefits would begin midway through a woman's pregnancy. 
Now, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen is indicating that she believes individual Americans earning $60,000 per year ought to be eligible for the direct payments. If you think about an elementary school teacher or a policeman making $60,000 a year and faced with children who are out of school and people who may have to withdraw from their labor force in order to take care of them and many extra burdens, President Biden thinks, and I would certainly agree, that it's appropriate for people there to get support, said Yellen. That is the end of the video, everyone. I hope you found this video helpful. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment below for more daily stimulus check updates. Don't forget to enter the $50 Amazon gift card giveaway. All you have to do to enter is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leaving a comment below. Thank you and have a good day.